tonight, but we don't have a good rake. So I'll hook a whole lot better because there's pine trees up there. And like the video, comment down below without whatever else I should do and make. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna start um, you know, putting the leaves and stuff down on this side. We're not gonna use as many pine tree branches that are like alive. We're gonna like use dead ones. So I have a burn the brush pile. They work a little bit better, but they're a little bit different. But first, but before we do any of that, we gotta use some of these spindles to lay down on there first. So I'm gonna put my GoPro down here. My GoPro got worse. I have to like pull some of the legs on it. Only two legs are on it and it won't balance really. But I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna go grab like a few spindles maybe. They cannot have screws, that's the thing. And what I'll do with these, I'll lay them right here along the tarp like that. This will help absorb a lot of the wind and everything like that. Like I said, they cannot have screws going on. I don't want the port to be punctured. So if one has screws, I just don't use it. So I'll put five to six on the each one. A lot of these have screws, so I can't even use them. This one doesn't have screws. Okay, found these two. Oh. And step over here, and I'll put some right here. So right now, I need like, I need like one more. So I'm gonna go grab one more. Take you guys with me. So like all those have screws. This one has a screw, can't use it. Even though the screw is very noticeable, like this one has a screw, I still don't want to use it. I'll puncture the thing, even if it's one day, if it's pretty windy, you can puncture it. The tarp, and we don't want that to happen. Before I show you guys anything else, I'm going to show you guys something. Yeah, that's how I have it. It'll help absorb the wind a little bit better. Out on the other side too, I'll show you. Yeah, you can see that they're, they're under there. But I made a door that goes to my fort. I had to do because this is the handle, it kind of keeps breaking. But this is how it opens the shop by itself. I got brand new hinges on it, top and bottom. I stapled a thing to it, tie that, tie that, because I cut a lot of these tarps. And I had to tie that. So every time I push it open, it'll bring it with it. And I can walk in, and every time I close it, I'll just put go back into its original place. I, I was going to use a brand new tarp that's in there. And I used some of that new red rope I'll show you. I walked in here. And it's all that. I was going to use that. I used some of that red rope, but not all of it walk back out there it's a little bit harder to walk out but now what we're gonna do i'm gonna get some of those dead branches put them on a few big sticks and i'm gonna put you all in time lapse for that because it's gonna take me a few extra minutes to do all that because you know just watch time lapse and see you guys when i'm back when i'm done with the time lapse So we got some of we got we got the spindles down and some dead branches on it, but I will be putting more of those on. But now there's some little pine tree branches up on the hill right up there. I'm walking up there right now. I gotta go grab because those will help fill in the gaps a little better and those help hold the leaves in place better. But I'm kind of just running up here where it's a little bit quicker. Ugh, I hate ducking down like this. I gotta trim that path a little bit better. Came up here, kind of out of breath here. So I gotta find out where I place these. Oh, run across this board. Place them all right here. I'm trying to put them kind of like, now I can just grab them by the ends. So there's a lot right here. I can hold them on one hand like that. So yeah, I'm walking back down there. I'm gonna walk down this hill. Oh, I should not be doing this in haters with holes in it. But it, it's fine. I'm just kind of sliding down on, like going sideways, sliding down. But I still made it down. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, gotta be my hand still. We didn't drop any actually, surprisingly. But then I'll put you guys in time lapse again before I put these on.
So, kind of long time lapse. You see, I got two big sticks up like that. I'm not chopping them for firewood. I'm just going to like have them up there for more support for the fort. So, you see, I got more branches on. I got some leaves on. I'm not done with it. I don't have enough leaves on all the leaves to fall off the trees yet. You see, I raked a pretty good area there. But I might rake some more up tonight, but we don't have a good rake. So, because the last one I used this year or whatever last year broke. So, that's it. I, I, I know it looks like nothing, but it's going to look a whole lot better because there's pine trees up there. M mediums, not like, they're just, they're not big, but they're not too small. Makes sense. I'm going to chop those down up there. Bring them down here, chop up the branches. Use those more bigger sticks. Much. Chop them all down for more support. Like that you know so yeah that's it for today's video um might start another one tonight i'm not sure i don't know if i'm wearing the chainsaw this late at night um but hopefully you guys enjoyed and check the other parts out for making the fort ready for winter for getting it insulated and all that kind of stuff so other than that make sure i hit the subscribe button like the video comment down below whatever else i should do and make sure you guys subscribe and see you in the next video